So, what is Christmas weather-wise for us? Have we been warm? Absolutely. We've had mild Christmases. We've had a lot of mild Christmases in recent years. Last year was not. So, average high on Christmas Day is 33 degrees. Our record for Christmas Day is actually 64. That was back in 1982. The coldest high was the year after that. 1983, can you imagine that? We're talking about a difference between last year at 16 and this year at 50. Imagine a one year difference of 64 to four. That's a big change. Now, the biggest snowfall on Christmas Day was back in 1915, and that was 7.9 inches. So when it comes down to it, on Christmas Day, we get weather all over the place, but we're starting to see in the past 20 years, more mild Christmas days than what we had in all of the years previous back into the 1880s. So there's a lot of mild air that we're having to work with. Now, when it comes down to the warmth for tomorrow and the stretch that we're looking at, we got 41 in Monroe, plenty of cloud cover. It's a gray day. Nothing says Michigan in December like clouds. Now, going into parts of Washtenaw and Wayne counties, we've got Canton at 44. Still seeing, again, just stubborn clouds throughout much of the day, but it's not a windy one either, so there's a lot of positive notes with that. 43 at 4 o'clock in St. Clair Shores. Let's go all the way to Chelsea at 42 degrees, and that leaves us again with gray conditions really hanging around. Now, Livingston, Oakland, and Macomb counties. This is where you've got 42 in Brighton, plenty of cloud cover. You're looking at easy setups there for those great conditions. We've got Chesterfield all the way to the east here at 43. So still all within that boat. But now look here, Lake Orion right at 41. A little cooler when you get right in that bubble there. And the thing is from Lake Orion all the way up to Elmont and through parts of western uh, St. Clair and Sanilac counties, you have that cooler air. Port Huron though at 40 is really not all that bad, especially since we've got a little sunshine that breaks through at the very beginning of the day. And on the model, you can see that cloud cover itself rebounds going into tomorrow, but there's that break that gives us a little sunshine only in our northeastern communities there. But winter officially begins as we go on into tomorrow. We've got that 40 degree high there for us. Then we're back in the mid 40s quickly as we go to 46 morning rain on Saturday, upper 40s and cloudy on Christmas Eve, 50s, 50s. Christmas Day, the beginning of Kwanzaa, and even the mid-40s with more rain going through the middle of next week. It's a mild trend there for us with a lot of warm air and rain instead of snow going over the next seven.